Yeah, I'm going to buy this one. We're buying it. Bring me Red Bull. No? Shonda. 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 Oh, you're going to volunteer his. I'm going to volunteer yours. Yes, family. Hello. <laughs> We're at the part in Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, as you know, normally the good, the good times passed by very fast. If you have bad time, it takes ages that time to pass. Especially um, this year. It looks like a long, long year because of the pandemic. And now, the pandemic is phasing out. Since people, since, since people have gained confidence, people are now not thinking of the disease, they are thinking of more how to make life better and easier. So that's why the holiday, the time, your time in Africa has passed like very quick like a blow of wind from the sea to the land or from the land to the sea. Now we are leaving this place. I hope you have everything that you need to have. Yeah, I do. Yes. Things that you left in the room is things to give away. And uh, Yeah, I love a little change. Oh, that's good. Yes. Somebody should be dancing in yeah, the sun. Yeah, they'll be dancing when they see it. In the sun out there and like making big party. Today he or she will be making half moon, not full moon. That's right. Yesterday was full moon and uh, uh -oh. traffic jam. <laughs> it's a village. It's a village traffic jam. Anyway, we are now driving to Stone Town, where we will catch the ferry to Dar es Salaam. Before catching the ferry, we'll stop at the office. Brother wanted to upgrade the tickets. Is that still the pro plan? <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. That is the plan. Um, looking to change this from our economy to our, our VIP so we can uh, use. Um, so you can have a VIP things. boat ride. I'll still be down on the economy road, so don't yeah. worry. You'll see me, you'll see me at the. Because, yeah, the other way around. Uh, I will be talking to those people driving from, uh, taking a boat ride from Zanzibar to Dar es Salaam and maybe I'll make more friends. Oh yeah, absolutely. And... Uh, yeah, we, I mean, everyone is getting an upgrade. No. That wouldn't make no, I, any I, sense. I want, I want to talk to the friends. Sorry. Up there, I won't talk to you. And uh, you're already friends. I want to add the tree to be bigger. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just joking, actually. And um, when we get to, 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 to the ferry, checking in. Yesterday, I went to the ferry. Yeah, I mean, they're checking try to find some friends to make friendship with them so that our day would be easy but it was not that easy <laughs> i just rea i just realized if they notice that you are not traveling they won't follow you they won't talk to you easily they're chasing with the people with the bags and and finally i thought to myself if the if it's going to be the business class there would be no difficulty there would be no problem at all okay so we will get to dar es salaam in dar es salaam from the boat to the exit point, there is no problem. From the exit point to get to the bus, problem. that's where <laughs> difficulty is because of the porters. So I will ask you again the way I did on the way to the ferry in Dar es Salaam. Be patient, relax, do not be angry. That will ruin your day. But if you just be patient, if you just take it like it's part of life, everything will go well, we will do all the formalities get into the bus once we are in the bus Eddie our driver will be waiting us there then we'll drive um, find a place for dinner if still dinner and then after dinner you go to the airport and I won't say goodbye to you I won't Sorry, see you next I time. won't say goodbye to you I'll see I'll say right I'll see, say, you, next time. see you next time That's right. uh, Absolutely. because I have been doing lots of tours and uh, I have been doing like the group that is mixed American, American, African, American. If the group is, mi if the group is mixed, 
it's really difficult to scan and to know people. But now, today, or this trip, I have wide, wide angle of understanding. <laughs> I know why, when it's, why it's like this when I'm with this group, and why it's like this when I'm with this group. I know that uh, my accent, my, my, my tongue, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, more African English, not American English. But nobody has just ignored what I'm saying because of my my language, of which sometimes I get it from the other side that people just say. Anyway, I didn't really understand what he means, but I won't ask. And when it comes to problem, they say, that time I did not understand it to you, but I didn't ask because I don't understand you. And then I say, okay, if it's you who's talking to me in Kiswahili and I don't understand you, I would ask you hundred times to make things go so. well. And this time, I'm happy that everything goes like nobody did really ask. What do you mean? <laughs> so, once we are in Dar es Salaam, after dinner you check in. As I said, I won't say goodbye. I'll say see you next time. That will be the time you go home, but do not forget that you're always more than welcome to come and visit us, come and see Tanzania again and again. There's a lot of places that we can go to for more studies, for more understanding about Africa. And that will show us or show you how Africa is and when it comes to the time you want to invest back here in Africa. You will know where to go like Jamaica, you want to come to Tanzania, you want to go to Ghana, Ghana you want to go to Congo, Rwanda, Burundi, Kenya. Africa is very rich. I was surprised one day when they announced uh, I mean, in the media, in the media, when they say they are about to chop one part of Julius, used to be Selu's national park, Game Reserve, they were about to chop, to take one part, a small part, they say a small part, I don't know how big it is, maybe some hundred acres of land uh, for uranium mining. Uranium? Yes. Okay. And then I come to realize we have a huge reserve of uranium. Wow. And actually, anyway, we cannot we cannot handle that thing, so we are not thinking of generating power out of it. I think some big nations will come for mining. So I just counted on how many minerals we have. Then I looked to our economy. And I thought like somebody is needed to come and fix this problem because you cannot be in the middle of the ocean and you complain you have no water. That's like <laughs> you come to somebody's home, he's living along the river and you ask for drinking water and say okay let's go and fetch water because we don't have water. So that's how Africa is. Not only Tanzania but many countries in Africa. Although slowly very slowly people are building up awareness and maybe maybe some days in future we will benefit our resources and because now you've been living grown up in America not only America but all other parts of the world you have a certain knowledge of a certain thing come to Africa and invest it here because if you're a very good doctor as a black American, like the one brother in Arusha. Yes. Who is having a clinic that they can come to your hotel room. That's very good. Because now he's back to Africa to help his people. Although he's doing more for the hotels and the hotels will hire him for the white people. First of his language, good English that he can easily get along with the 
with the Americans and the other tourists. Secondly, because of his knowledge. And if you're a good engineer, you even know how to assemble or to, to make a car engine block from the scratch. We have a lot of minerals. Like in central Tanzania, we have iron ore. So you can go there and melt iron ore to make blocks. And then we can start producing vehicles. You have, you have very good understanding on how to do with safe, to deal with softwares. Welcome to Africa to invest here so that we can also some days in the future produce computers. So it's the end and uh, it's a difficult part to talk about. All I can say, you have found, let you be like elephants. When the elephants pass a trail, for the first time, they need a guidance of the martyr, the biggest female, the oldest female of the group. But coming back, they will never ask for it because they have already memorized it. So it's your time. You have taken a lot of photos. That, keep that in your memory. And if you have some friends, family members, people that you know, they want to come to Africa to come and see, encourage them, give them energy to come. We will be here to, to help them. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.